10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Ignition. And liftoff. Liftoff of Falcon Heavy with Europa Clipper. Unveiling the mysteries of an enormous ocean lurking beneath the icy crust of Jupiter's moon, Europa. Engine chamber pressures are nominal. See that the chamber pressures are nominal as we hear. All 27 Merlin engines look great. Rocket beginning to roll. Putting down 5.1 million pounds of thrust. Coming up, they're going to back off those engines just a bit. As so we get ready to head into max, max power and telemetry nominal. We hear that power and telemetry on the vehicle are good there. Everything's looking uh, real well. Falcon Heavy is supersonic. They have uh, reduced power in the center core uh, to get through maximum max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the launch vehicle as we approach that. The two side boosters at full throttle. A beautiful shot there is our camera team. Max Q. Locking into the rocket on a clear blue sky. The view from the booster cam back down on Earth. And there we heard the call for max Q. The vehicle is passing through maximum dynamic pressure. Uh, next thing up in about two minutes will be a booster engine cutoff where we see the two side booster engines, all 18, shut down and get ready for booster separation. But the vehicle is performing very well. Looking at all the telemetry that we have, uh, power and trajectory are nominal. We've been flying for just under two minutes so far. Everything looking good. These side boosters, once they do their job, they will be expended. If you're familiar with the Falcon Heavy, you know that they bring the boosters back on certain launches, but not on this one, because all of the performance is needed to push Europa Clipper into its proper orbit. Things continue to look good as the vehicle uh, heads down its uh, ascent phase here. All telemetry is looking very nominal for this flight this morning. Uh, Falcon Heavy is performing very well. Now we're just about 30 seconds away from separating those side boosters. Their engines will cut off first, then they will separate. MVAC is chilling. Starting to chill down that MVAC D engine in the second stage. And that's uh, where we need to get the engine uh, chilled to the proper temperatures before flowing uh, liquid oxygen and RP-1 into it. So uh, they're conditioning the engine to make sure things are ready for when it's ready to uh, start up. Stand by for booster separation. Booster engine cutoff. Side booster separation confirmed. And there they go. Those two boosters previously flown on Psyche. Uh, this will be their sixth flight. We thank you for their service this morning. They did a great job of getting Falcon Heavy and Europa Clipper on its way as the center core takes over and continues mission uh, down its ascent. Things are looking really good in the telemetry. Power and trajectory look nominal, and uh, chamber pressures on the nine center core engines look really good. And just a little more, 20 seconds from now, we'll get the cutoff of the main engine on the center core booster that remains. Four seconds after that, we will separate. Flying out over the Atlantic Ocean. There's a look from inside. There we, we see go. stage one. Uh, stage separation down. confirmed. And stage separation from the uh, center core. Getting ready for MVAC startup, SES-1. We're getting some applause here in the Mission Directors Center, and there you see the MVAC-D engine lighting up. Next thing up in about 10 seconds will be fairing NYPY FTS has saved. And fa the fairing has protected Europa Clipper on its ascent th up into space, but once we get into space, we don't need that fairing anymore. Uh, so there they go. Fairing confirmed. Fairing has separated, and those will be recovered, Daryl, by uh, SpaceX's own recovery ship, Go Cosmos. Go. 
And there um, you see them falling away into space. That is the only part of this rocket that will be recovered. 